Here it is, ArcGIS Online. As the instructions state, I'm going to look at web content only. I'm going to search for Tuscaloosa owner JJKERSKI. There are a lot of Tuscaloosa tornado data sets and maps here, and I want to make sure I open the one that uh, is the one that I authored. There is the result. One result for Tuscaloosa owner JJ Kersky. Underneath the thumbnail, I can open it up in several different ways. I'm going to open it up in ArcGIS.com Map Viewer. Tuscaloosa Tornado Response, Comparing Pre- and Post-Tornado Imagery. As the lesson indicates, use the middle button over the text in the left panel to show, con show contents of map. There's my map legend, and there are my contents. Do some research on this tornado in Tuscaloosa. Write a paragraph summarizing your research, including what date and time did the tornado occur? How many people were injured and killed from this tornado? How much property damage occurred? Why was this tornado so destructive? Turn off the map notes layer for the moment. The base image is the Bing Maps aerial. Toggle the layer above it on and off. This is the world imagery layer. So you can see some differences there. Zoom to various locations around Tuscaloosa and compare the Bing Maps aerial to the world imagery layer. I'm going to toggle these on and off. So it draws from bottom to, to top, so the Bing Maps aerial is below world imagery. So if I unclick world imagery, I see the Bing Maps aerial. Notice right down here where I'm pointing the mouse. See that field? There's a couple of buildings over here. They're on the Bing Maps aerial, but they're not on the world imagery. So I suspect that the Bing Maps aerial is newer than the world imagery. By the way, using this kind of analysis and comparing different uh, image layers and m images and maps and other kinds of data that you can look at that was taken and recorded and mapped at different times, you can look at change over time, which is quite a powerful concept in geography, history, and other disciplines. Now, click on the GOI Tuscaloosa, Alabama layer to expand it. These layers are provided courtesy of the GOI Corporation, a satellite image company. You can see that two layers exist, the pre-tornado imagery from 4 April 2006 and the post-storm imagery from 28 April 2011. Okay, now remember that this particular tornado occurred on 27 April 2011. So therefore, the post-storm imagery was the next day the following day, 28 April 2011. Turn the pre-storm and post-storm imagery on and off so that you can assess the damage caused by this tornado. Provide your own description of the damage in a paragraph as viewed from above. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to zoom in There's my pre-storm imagery, and there's my post-storm imagery. Investigate different areas of town. There's my pre-storm imagery and my post-storm imagery. I can see the swath that the tornado cut through on the way through town. Let's do some further investigation. I'm really seeing some devastation here. Let's see what it looked like before the storm. That is amazing.